Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Wadley, and I'm a Masters of Science and Outdoor Education major at Southern Adventist University. And today I want to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, and that's hammocks. But the hammock that I'm using now is called the Castaway Parachute Hammock. And this one weighs 18 ounces with the suspension. So let me show you about the suspension and why this is important. I went to a big box store and bought this carabiner a couple of years ago because it said the rating was 200 pounds. Do not use more than 200 pounds on this carabiner. Also says on the carabiner, not for climbing. Well, I wasn't climbing and I didn't weigh more than 200 pounds, so I thought I could use this carabiner to set up my hammock suspension. The only problem is in the middle of the night, I fell out of my hammock because my carabiner stretched to its maximum and I finally fell. And I couldn't understand why, if I weighed 160 pounds, why this failed at such a low weight when it was rated at 200 pounds. So we're going to look at that in just a moment as well. What I'm using is just a, um, a piece of webbing, and this is a whippy sling. The whippy sling is adjustable so you can pull the uh, hammock suspension out and make it longer, or you can tighten it up by just a tug and it goes right back on to what is called the Marlin Spike Hitch. Now this cord is called Amsteel, and Amsteel is rated at 1,600 pounds. So in other words, this can, can hold 1,600 pounds, which is about four and a half kilo, kilo newtons. Now if you were to use 550 cord, Again, like I said earlier, 550 cord is only designed to hold 550 pounds. So, would you rather be hanging by a 550 pound strength rated cord or one that's 1600? There's a reason that you want the 1600. And that it all has to do with the angle that the hammock is hung. I don't really have to worry about a safety factor so much in my hammocking, but I will if I'm going to be rescuing someone with rope techniques. So if you were to look at this hammock that I'm sitting in, you would think that, that this hammock, each side is holding me up at equal work. In other words, this right side is holding maybe 80 pounds of me, and the left side is holding 80 pounds. But if you were to put a scale on that, you would see at a 30 degree angle, not only is it equal, being held up equally, but there is not additional stress being put on my anchors. Now, no one's gonna hang in a hammock like this, but I wanna show you the math and the physics behind it. If this hammock is suspended from one place above this hammock, and both sides are together, and I were to sit in this hammock, each side is holding 50% of my weight. So the right side is holding 80 pounds, the left side is holding 80 pounds. So that would be really at um, an unusable hammock spread, but at the same time, I don't want to show you that each side is holding 50% of my weight. This angle is 45 degrees. Now you're probably not gonna sleep in a hammock at 45 degrees angle, but I wanna show you the physics and the math behind that. At this angle, if I were to suspend from one tree to the other, at this angle, each side is supporting 0.75% or 75% of my weight on each side. So each side is gonna be pulling 120 pounds. Now I only weigh 160, but as you spread this angle, it's going to create more tension on each of my anchor points. So now the total hammock suspension is carrying 240 pounds at a 45 degree angle. So now let's say that I spread it on out to a 30 degree angle. Now 30 degree angle is optimum because each side is holding my weight at 160 pounds. Each side is holding 100%. So in other words, my left side is holding 160 pounds. The right side is holding 160 pounds. And that's right where you want it in hammocking. No angle here. It's just straight. Again, we are looking at 1,600 pounds of force being generated in this suspension system because I'll weigh 160 and without an angle, 
the entire suspension system is having to hold 1,600 pounds. So once again, how do you determine the 30 degree angle? Well, this anchor point is stationary. So let's look at this as one side of the triangle. The other side of the triangle comes down like this. And then this imaginary line that comes from the hammock sag to the tree, this portion right here is that angle. So we want it at 30 degrees. Again, I weigh 160, so each side of the suspension at a 30 degree angle will be carrying 160 pounds. And that's exactly right where we want it. And now you are on your belly in the but the big deal that I want to emphasize in this video is to make sure that you have your hammock hung in the proper angle. 30 degree angle, 30 degrees. 30 degree angle. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the sandbox theory that Ron Miller was discussing with us. What he taught us was, is in the rope rescue business, there's a certain sandbox, if you will. If you're a small child and you're at a city park and you're playing with your Tonka truck in a sandbox and someone else has their matchbox cars played in the same sandbox, the big Tonka truck doesn't match up with the little cars. So you have a different sandbox really for the matchbox cars than you do the Tonka trucks. Same thing is with the rope rescue and rappelling and hammocking. Different sandboxes but a very similar type of scenario for each one. We're all using gear, we're all using technology, we're using ropes, we're using cordage, we're using different hitches, but it's a different mindset. I don't really have to worry about a safety factor so much in my hammocking, but I will if I'm going to be rescuing someone with rope techniques. So if you were to look at this hammock that I'm sitting in, you would think that, that this hammock, each side is holding me up at equal work. In other words, this right side is holding maybe 80 pounds of me and the left side is holding 80 pounds. But if you were to put a scale on that, you would see at a 30 degree angle, not only is it equal, being held up equally, but there is not additional stress being put on my anchors. So a 30 degree angle is holding my weight without any problem whatsoever. When I bring that angle out just a little bit to about a 45 degree angle, then each side of the suspension is holding 75% of my weight, or for me, 120 pounds on each side. But Jeff, you only weigh 160, how can each side be pulling 120? Well, as you increase the angle, you're also creating a, a system where each of the suspensions are pulling against each other. So when you pull it out to a 30 degree angle, which is the most effective place for a hammock camper, is each side is actually supporting 100% of your weight. So 160 pounds is pulling on each side of the suspension. If I go completely flat with the hammock from tree to tree, 10 times the, the amount of my weight is being pulled. So for, in my case, 1,600 pounds. So we go back to the original questions. Do you want to use 550 cord? You better have your angle right on this hammock or you're, it's going to break. Do you want to use a carabiner? You better have your angles right or that carabiner is going to break. Do you want to hang your hammock inside a shelter? Boy, if you don't have your angles right, you can go to jail. You can hurt yourself and hurt other people inside of that shelter and we sure don't want that to happen. So, from all of us at Southern Adventist University and the Outdoor Education Program, we wish you happy trails and happy hammocking.